Hello, Marcus Boston. Quick video today. And the question is, what can you be compensated or what can your child be compensated for when we're discussing a traumatic brain injury at birth? The reason why I want to talk about this is because sometimes there seems to be some confusion when we talk to families about this issue. So I'm just going to quickly, quickly talk about compensation for a birth trauma case. And so when we're looking at compensation, that is going to fall into that fourth element when we're discussing negligence in general. And that element deals with damages. And, and, and in our context, that's going to be the injury or the harm that's associated with the, the, the experience. And so for this traumatic brain injury, when we're discussing these types of cases, there's a lot of things that we have to take into consideration for damages. And one of the big tools or the, the one of the important an important expert that we have in these cases is a life care planner and a life care planner is an expert that helps us understand the disability and the challenges that your that your child may face moving into the future because for the damages aspect of things it's not enough just to think about what's happening with your child today we have to have an idea as to your baby's needs moving into the future so if your baby is a newborn right now what is your baby needs at five years old? What about 10 years old? What if your baby is projected to live a long life? 25, 35, 50. So we have to think about the needs of your child as your child begins to grow. And some of these things can be as simple as a wheelchair. What if there's a motorized wheelchair that's going to be needed? We need to understand the value of that wheelchair today, the value of that wheelchair five years from now, 10 years from now. We have to understand what about the home environment? What about that? What if you're living right now? What if your home arrangements are you're in a two story uh, uh, place where you're living? And right now, that's not really conducive to your baby's needs going up and down steps. What if a ranch is better suited? That's something that has to be taken into consideration. The home situation, maybe a new home needs to be purchased to help your baby be able to live the best life that they can. What about your car and your vehicle? What, what about, remember I talked about a wheelchair. Uh, so what if the car now needs to be retrofitted? What about if you need a lift or, or you need an attachment? All of these things will go into the damages or the compensation aspect of a traumatic brain injury. And this is one of the reasons why it is important for families to think about these things. I know that, you know, been doing this long enough and a lot of times families are initially concerned about what's happening today, what's happening with these doctor's appointments today or next week or three months from now. But hopefully with this video, you can understand that when you're speaking with a birth injury attorney like myself, and when we are trying to advise and give and, and, and help families understand these issues that we are not only looking at today, we are looking out into the future for a child. And in, in some instances, depending on the severity of the injury and the needs that are there, these the, the, the compensation uh, can range into the millions of dollars for this. So I know that for this video, there was a lot that I discussed, but I want to help you understand the compensation aspect for your child when we're talking about a traumatic brain injury and that damages aspect of things. Now, there are some more other things. There's, there's a lot of other things that are covered in this, but I just want to help you start to understand that when we're looking at these types of cases, it's not enough just to think about today or three months or two years. We have to look also at the future. What type of future care and future assistance is going to be needed to help your baby as they age be able to live the best life possible? So if you have more questions, maybe you're here watching this video today because you just got an HIE, high, high hypoxic ischemic encephalopathy diagnosis. Your baby has suffered a traumatic brain injury, or maybe you have a subsequent cerebral palsy or CP diagnosis on top of your HIE diagnosis, and you have questions. What I invite you to do is go ahead and pick up the phone, 
and call us. There's a telephone number down below. This is what we do. And remember, it costs you absolutely nothing to talk with us about your baby's story. When you contact my secretary, just let them know that you would like to get on my calendar or my co-counsel, Renee Boston, on her calendar, uh, and we can talk with you about what's going on with your baby. One more thing. I practice law in the state of Maryland, and I know that sometimes we'll have individuals who will contact us uh, because this video is on the internet and it's on social media platforms and they may not be in Maryland and they still contact us. If, you, if that is you, just understand that we have to use what we call co-counsel or local counsel. In other words, an attorney in your state. And that's something that we can work and help you with, but I just wanna make sure that you understand that co-counsel or that local counsel aspect of things if you contact us and you're not in Maryland. All right, that's gonna be it for today's educational video. Again, I am Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys practicing law in the state of Maryland at Boston Law Group, LLC. And we will talk with you next time. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.